Hey everyone, it's Trader Rob. We had an absolute banger of a day yesterday. Today is Friday, April 26. Let's see if we can finish off this week strong right after the intro. As always, nothing that I state on my channel is financial advice, trading futures, or any type of trading is risky business. Any capital that is put out there is at risk for loss. Okay, so try, I definitely need to manage my expectations here this morning with trading. Yesterday, um, if you guys watched the video from yesterday, just had an absolute banger of a day, uh, plus $714 in the cash account. The eval account was in the green, uh, was in the green from the raw reversals based on a small little tweak that I made and just had a fantastic day trading. Now, when you have days like we've, we've talked about when you've got, you know, a few, a few days of some bad trading, uh, what you need to look out for. Well, it, the opposite is kind of true. Uh, when you have such a great day, like how I had yesterday, the next day, you really need to manage your expectations and, and to say to yourself, well, not every day is going to be like yesterday. And let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's stay within our stay within our trading discipline, taking one trade at a time, same position sizing, and just try to win the day and everything else should hopefully uh, come into play. Now, taking a look at oil this morning, we are in an uptrend here since about four o'clock in the morning. Um, in gold, we are also in an uptrend. Uh, we did have a pretty strong retracement. We, there was a lot of news, obviously, at 7.30 this morning, and um, today will be a busy day with news as well. Uh, going over our trades from yesterday, gold was an awesome winner, max position size winner of 35 ticks. Um, you got activated to the long at that 820, 825 candle close. Awesome trade in gold. Again, if you want to learn any of the strategies that I trade every morning in gold, oil, the NQ, all of the strategies are linked below. I will be releasing a video probably this weekend or Monday on a detailed um, overview of how I come up with also my levels each morning. Uh, I've been asked on that many times. So let's look. take a look at oil. Oil session one, which I did not trade today. I'm gonna be trading just gold and oil session two. That's what I feel comfortable with. Um, again, I like my position sizing with that. Doesn't affect my top step 50K account at all. So session one was a loser for 25 ticks. We got activated into the long, reversed on us. So that was kind of a, an ugly trade. Session two, which I did take off of this 910, 915 close candle, got activated into the short, full take profit, 27 ticks on that one. Beautiful trade in, uh, in oil. Taking a look at the Rob reversal. Yesterday we had two setups. Uh, first one failed us. We we had activated to the short, quickly reversed, and then we were able to capture some of this upward movement um, in the markets at the 12:30 activation. So the candle pattern was correct. It was within our time frame, our time condition. We get activated on this next trade, beautiful trade. So on the eval, it was pretty much a squash um, because this I was trading. 35 points of stop and 35 points of take profit. Uh, if you guys watched my video from yesterday, on my cash account, I'm trading that with two micros. I've got my stop loss set at 35 points. I've got a trailing uh, a trailing stop and a, a set take profit of 70 points. So a two for one. And yesterday, obviously, I had the one loser for 35 points, but then I had the winner for 70 points which was fantastic. So that little tweak has worked out in my favor pretty damn well. Let's see here this morning. Um, again, we got a lot of news coming out. Uh, if we take a look at our dashboard from yesterday's trades, we now stand at $50,249. So 
So built up a little bit of cushion yesterday, but want to add on add on to that buffer here this morning. Um, and then our levels. Let's take a look here at our levels. Uh, I already posted in Discord pretty early this morning, the levels, and I also said that there was really not many opportunities I personally see right now at the um, uh, with the morning levels. Again, this is, might be a scenario where you're kind of might have to see on some fresh levels that come in, you know, closer to the open and beyond the open and see, you know, maybe down to the five minute time frame, see if there might be any opportunities that that build in. Uh, so this is the NQ. Uh, actually, a pretty decent trading opportunity right here, maybe on a, on a short, just because we've got three levels. They're not too crazy apart from each other, um, but this did tap into it already once. So it starts to kind of lose its value on the bounce, but this would have been a pretty decent trade right here. Um, all right, levels. We've got a 15 minute interval level at 17,850. We've got another one at 17,807. We got a five minute level at 17,787. We do have this really big gap as well. So this area for me is a no go, no go zone. Um, really not looking for trades here. Um, this, this is the pattern that I'm looking for, obviously, um, and probably put in a level right here. But again, I've got no clear entry. I got no clear stop. I, you could take an entry, but where's your stop going to be at the bottom of this gap at the next level? There's way too much separation here. Um, below us, we've got a extreme level at 17,546. So that's the, uh, that's the NQ. I don't know, I might have said YM there, but that's the NQ. Uh, YM has a level at 38,607, extreme high. Uh, we've got another level at 38,543. We got a five minute time frame level at 38,486. And we've got a strong level that has already kind of been tapped into here one, two, three times. This is probably gonna lose its value at this point. 38,374, and a five minute level that had a nice bounce, 38,317. Below that, you've got a level at 38,266 and 251, two very strong levels on the 15 minute time frame. Could very, very, um, you could make a very good point of taking a long right here to this level right here and having your stop loss pretty much right below here. Could be a play this morning. And last but not least on the ES. ES has got two gaps. So I got a gap on top of us and we got a big gap below us. Again, right as of right now, price action to me does not look tradable yet this morning. Um, typically days with news, you got a big spike, which we did, we tapped into um, two of these levels that I had right here, 51.29, 51.31. Um, we've got an extreme high at 51.58. And this level right here, uh, that was actually, I mean, you got a really nice bounce here. But again, I had no clear, no clear stop loss on here at 51.13. But this would have been actually a beauty of a trade right there. Um, big gap again below us. So again, it's going to tap in. It might fill, it might not. So I don't like trading around these areas. Down here, I would entertain something. This is for sure. Uh, obviously, we would have to have a pretty damn big dump to get all the way down here at 5078. We got another level here at 5066. But you've got very clear, very clear um, entry and stop loss. Okay. So again, that's what I'm really looking for in my trades. So I know I've been saying this almost every day, but again, probably would be looking just for retracement, bounce. Here we don't really, again, not really great target, but here we do. So here you've got a target that you can go right back to this level. You've got a clear defined stop loss right here. So this would probably be the one and only trading opportunity as of right now. Now, once it gets closer to the open, right past the open, we might have some fresh levels that come up. 
um, that's one of the reasons if you want to join Discord, I post um, kind of what I'm thinking, what I'm looking at um, throughout the day. So let's see what we can get here. Trades are going to be coming up very shortly. Order canceled. All right, and here is our first trade of the morning. Um, this trade is in gold, which is always on the right-hand side of my chart. If you take a look, uh, we do get activated here into the short based off of that green inside bar. And again, once again, um, our source bar, which is the down black bar uh, to the left of the inside bar, is a max size source bar. So anything over 40 ticks or 40 ticks and above, I automatically reduce to 35 ticks, which is exactly what we're looking for. Um, trading this also in uh, in my cash account on the GC. So again, we are looking here for um, you know for that temporary push down. Uh, you almost get like I believe that's it's an almost an inside bar. Um, you know you almost get two inside bars here again in a row. I think you actually do on the GC now that I'm looking at it. Uh, and again, I, I just find those setups to be some of the strongest uh, setups that I encounter uh, trading this type of strategy. So again, here, you know, we we get the momentum. Um, momentum's obviously on our side. I am at this point looking to reduce my risk, which I do right there. So now 50% of my risk is off the table. And now pretty much all I'm looking for is you know, a small retracement is is healthy and it's something that to be expected. I know a lot of traders start to get nervous here, but you really got to see these things through. Um, and again, you're just waiting for that uh, from that final push here from sellers to full take profit. This ended up to be a just a beautiful trade in gold 35 ticks take profit. Target filled. Order canceled. All right, and then here is our setup for oil session two. Uh, we do get activated here into the short um, based off of that green inside bar. Um, obviously, if you're you know if you were taking a look at oil to this morning, uh, we were in a in a downtrend here. So again, just kind of looking here for a continuation of the trend. A momentum play outside of that inside bar and initially we get a you know kind of a small push starts to kind of hang around our entry and then you know unfortunately buyers really just start to kind of step in here and um, you know it just it did not have that push that we mean? are really looking for um, in uh, you know out of these plays so you know at this point not much more to do on the trade as far as the management of it. Um, you know, our, our stop loss, our take profit, they're all pretty much predetermined based off of the source bar. I believe this trade was about 17 ticks, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and, you know, there's you could tell there's still indecision um, in the marketplace. No real movement up or down, just kind of stuck in that range for three, three almost four bars. Um, but not looking good. We're on the wrong side of the trade here and we really buyers um, sellers really just never step in to this trade and we end up do taking a, a loss here in oil session 2. Stop. So not a bad day of trading. I you know, I, I stated at the beginning of the video, coming from a really big green day like I had yesterday, today's plan was, well, it's it's a completely new day. It's a new trading day and take one trade at a time. Now, we got a really nice trade in gold. Again, max position size. Um so took that on the eval, took that in cash on the GC. So I was up $350 there. Um, and then I took that that second uh, session in oil with five micros on cash. And I believe I'm, I did it with three micros in the eval. Um, so that brought me down just a little bit on my cash. But I think I'm up over like 280 or something like that for today, which is fantastic. Um, 
really quick, we'll just kind of recap the trades that you just saw. Um, again, we get in gold this inside bar at 8.05, close at 8.10. We then get another inside bar. It just seems like, you know, I, I just keep repeating myself that these, these consecutive inside bar plays uh, seem to produce some really, really nice trades. And this one, again, was a max position size because at the top of our source candle was 44 ticks. We automatically reduce it down to 35, anything that's 40 ticks and higher. Full take profit, awesome trade. Now, oil session one was a winner. Uh, you get activated into the long, small trade, 13 ticks, was not in session one. Session two, which you saw here, uh, we get activated just into the short, um, pretty quick reversal, 17 ticks. So oil sessions were kind of a wash here this morning. Uh, nothing on the raw reversal, so no setups here at all today. Um, obviously, we'll just kind of go over the, the signals. Uh, you get one at 9.30 a.m. Again, this does not activate because it, does, it closes above the ADMA. We are looking to take this as a short invalidated setup no no trade and the same thing at the 11 a.m candle as well and our levels um took no trade today zero trades today on the levels and again just kind of going in with a game plan early in the morning um kind of looking for very specific things and I just didn't see any really good setup that warranted me getting into the market. So no trades. And sometimes no trades is good trades. Um, neither of the gaps that we talked about this morning got completely filled in. Um, you know, again, I had a scenario where if we can get price action down here for a bounce, that's probably the only trade that I would have entertained. Um, but price action did not come anywhere near it. And in the... Let's take a look at the YM. And the YM, um, at the beginning of the video, I said the, you know a trade possibility here would have been this a bounce right from here, right back to here. Well, that's exactly what you got. Um, did not take this trade. So, you know, I, I can be honest with you, I had the ES open almost all morning, so I honestly didn't even see this bounce here. But this was the exact setup that I said that I would have um, entertained. Again, Clear entry, clear stop loss, clear take profit. But this is a trade setup that I would really, really like. Um, I am gonna be producing, not producing, I'm gonna be uploading a video on, um, on the levels, uh, pretty much a detailed video, just because it, a lot of people have been asking me for it. And it will go over how I map up my, um, how I map out the charts um, and what I am looking for why these, where these lines come from or these levels come from and the type of trades that I like to entertain. So with that, uh, looking forward to the weekend. Then we got two more trading days left to go here in, in April. Um, so far, finish this week off with a bang. So I will see you guys on Monday. Happy trading, everyone.